Land is the basic resource. It is used by human beings for settlement, agriculture, transport and for other activities. Even most of the clothing requirements of man comes from land. About 95% of human food requirements are met from land. Traditionally, Adivasis in India or tribals in other parts of the world consider land a community resource. In Africa, even today, many communities use pasture lands as a common resource for grazing their domesticated animals. They even collect fodder, fruit and medicinal herbs for community use. Community lands are considered as a common property resource. In this chapter, we will study the following concepts. Land resources, soil resources, water resources, soil resources. Soil is the most important resource which sustains the living world. Soil is the topmost surface layer of the earth. It comprises of mineral particles and decayed organic material which together help plant growth. The organic content in soil is known as humus. Soil profile. Soil is formed in layers from parent rock upward. This layering arrangement is known as soil profile. The layers of soil are also known as horizon. Generally, there are three horizons designated as A, B and C. C is the bedrock, B is the subsoil above it and A is the soil proper and contains humus. Soil formation. Soil formation is an extremely slow and complex process. It takes several years for the formation of just one centimeter layer of soil. Temperature, precipitation and other chemical constituents of soil also help in soil formation. Thus, soil is formed by mechanical, chemical and biological processes. Plants, animals, insects and countless bacteria besides providing materials for formation of humus are also useful when they are alive. Soil formation Climate Controlling factor of soil formation is however the climate. It is the climate that causes weathering of rocks which in turn supplies materials for soil formation. Parent rock Parent rock or the original rock, its characteristics and quality is also responsible for the type and quality of soil. For example, Shales make clay soil, while sandstone contributes sand grains. Rate Rate of soil formation mostly depends on the frequent temperature changes and precipitation. Time Time factor is essential both for soil formation and its use. Relief Altitude, slope and depositions like rivers and winds also affect soil formation. Indeed, Depending on the origin of soil and their evaluation, soils are classified into two main groups, residual and transported soils. For example, red and black soils in Deccan Plateau are residual soils, whereas the alluvial soils of Ganga Valley are transported soils. Humus Flora, fauna and microorganisms in soil affect humus formation and give it black or grey colour. Soil as a renewable resource. From the process of soil formation and factors influencing it, soil is clearly a renewable resource. The process is, however, very complicated and slow. It takes anything from 400 to 1000 years for an inch of soil to form. Therefore, this renewability must be maintained in uninterrupted form. When soil is robbed of its basic properties, soil erosion occurs. To ensure that the soil resources of the earth remain intact, the rate of erosion must not exceed the rate of soil formation. Factors responsible for soil degradation Soil erosion Soil erosion is the chief factor responsible for soil degradation and even for its destruction. Among the factors responsible for soil erosion are deforestation, faulty agricultural practices, chemical fertilizers and pesticides. Salination Accumulation of water on soil causes its saltiness. Irrigation canals lead to salination of soil. In India, 36% of total irrigated area has been affected by salination, thus resulting in soil degradation. Deforestation 
deforestation causes enormous loss to basic properties of soil. Overgrazing Floods and landslides also degrade the soils. Conservation of land and soil resources It means protection, preservation and efficient utilization of resources. Conservation, on the other hand, is a human practice and has to be promoted rather than allowed to run on its own. Some methods of soil conservation are check land degradation, mulching, contour barriers, terrace farming, agroforestry and other measures, shelter belts.